Weather Views meteorologist Tom Atkins, your weather authority. Another view of the sunset, which just occurred. Auto, uh, Dias Auto and Truck Camera, just to the west of the Sheraton here, as you can see the ice on the bay, which, of course, with these warmer temperatures, is starting to get softer. As you look at the monument there to the 1813 Oliver Hazard Perry situation, and again, there are soft spots out here because we've had highs the past couple of days in Erie in the low 40s, and our lows have stayed above freezing. So just a word to the wise. Thanks, Amanda, for that beautiful shot. Thanks, Chris, over in Warren County. Again, the nature photographer here with the ice on uh, the vegetation out there. They got a little bit of snow out there. We got uh, one-tenth today. This is kind of how the winter is going about four inches below normal for the month and over 20 inches below normal for the season. So no big snows in the forecast over the next seven days, but we do go over 11 hours of daylight tomorrow, uh, and it will get back into at least the mid-40s, winds out of the south before a front brings some showers midday into the afternoon. Now, although it'll be colder Thursday and Friday, we're talking low to mid-30s, not 20s, and it looks like drier air before we warm up again as we go into the weekend. So nice to see the above freezing temperatures. Dawn in South Harbor Creek at 38, Joe in Northeast 39, Becky in French Creek at 36. Right down into Crawford County, lots of upper 30s like Janet in Cambridge, Rose in Espyville right at 40, so is John in Titusville. And where the clouds were slower to go away, you got the 34s, Saybrook and McCain, 36 Warren Fire Department, 35 in Chandler's Valley with a little bit of snow earlier today. But that system is out there. This system is coming at us and out ahead of it. You're going to have a warmer flow. So we're thinking mainly rain showers, then high pressure for the drier air and the cooler temperatures. So you can see it right here with the highs. A uh, little bit milder, a little bit cooler behind it and the coldest of the cold as we like to show you the the cold temperatures that produced uh, well below normal readings for the first 20 days of the month has shuffled up to Canada and it's going to stay there for a while so as we dive down closer to home we're good tonight and then comes the showers for tomorrow we could go mid to upper 40s as that warm front comes in tomorrow. And again, most of the shower activity probably midday into the afternoon. It's going to move out quickly. You can have some renegade snowflakes behind it tomorrow evening and maybe Thursday morning. But high pressure looks like it's going to have us mainly dry Thursday into Friday with even more sunshine as we go into Friday. And you look on the west side of this high, there's the red streamers. There's the milder temperatures coming up as we go into the weekend. So for the lakeshore tonight, uh, 31 to 34, variably cloudy, obviously breezy at times as it has been. Inland zones, Cory, Cambridge, Union City, partly to mostly cloudy, 28 to 31. Uh, clouds coming back into the mountains, Jamestown, Warren, Tynesta, uh, 27 to 30. So for tomorrow, we're going at least 45, could be a little bit uh, warmer than that. The winds will be gusty. The showers midday in the afternoon could end as a few flakes tomorrow night. 22 to 27 by wake up time on Thursday. So Thursday, clouds breaking for sun, about freezing. Friday, 36 with more sun. Saturday, a warm front. Uh, maybe some rain or snow showers. Doesn't look like a lot, but we're back in the 40s over the weekend. Sunday looks dry. Maybe some more precipitation by Monday, but no real cold air in sight on that seven day. Check it out as well as our cameras on the weather page at yourerie.com. Sean and Joe.